Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the bias spring in one of these older phones so you can get them to ring on more modern devices, uh, VoIP services, stuff like that. Um, those devices typically don't put out the same kind of ringing voltage, uh, waveform, and current that uh, traditional copper telephone line would. Um, typically a copper telephone line is 100 to 105 volts at about 20 hertz and it's a nice clean sine wave. Um, modern VoIP devices I think they max out at 85, some are as low as 40 volts, they're just awful. Um, so here I have a Model 500 set from I believe 1966 um, and we're gonna open it up and change the bias spring in it uh, so it'll ring on a much lower voltage it'll have a nice clean ring nice and loud and sharp like it would have originally and the only tool you need is a flathead screwdriver so let's dig in so you start you turn it over Yep, 1966. I don't know if you can see that. So you start by just taking out these two screws here. There's one. Make sure I'm staying in shot here. And there's the other one. Open it up. That's Pretty typical for a phone of this age. Have your network here. Here's your ringer. And this is how simple this is. If I turn this up, let's see if you can see down in there. The lighting isn't so good. Right here. You see how there's this little pin? This is not the best pointer. Right here in that little C-shaped slot. Well, all you gotta do, I'm gonna try to do this with the tweezers, just so you can see what I'm doing. Take it, and just move it to the other end of that C. That's all there is to it. And that's now in the low bias position. So, all you gotta do then, put the cover back on, Tighten your screws back down. And that's it. The best part of these old phones is they were built to be super reliable. You have to remember the phone company owned them all. So it was in their best interest to not have to send someone out to fix them. Having said that, You'll notice that they're super easy to fix because when they did have a problem, they wanted the technician to have as few tools as possible, get out there, get it going again, and move on to the next thing. Because when you're the bell system, time is money. So that's done. Let's dial it up from another phone and hear how it sounds. I'd call that a win. Um, the weird ring is because it's behind my partner system. Um, that's an intercom ring, so it does a long ring and then a really short one right at the end. Um, I could change that in programming on the partner system, uh, so it's just a standard ring, but um, you get the point. Um, and that's all it takes. That's how easy it is to to change that bias spring and uh, have your classic phone working on your modern lines. Of course, this may not be the best example. Um, most VoIP devices will not support 
rotary dialing. Uh, there's a few that do. I have a couple of grand stream devices. Um, as long as the dial is properly adjusted and, and pulsing at the correct speed, um, which is 10 pulses per second, um, they will work just fine. Um, I think my uh, homemade bracket is letting go, so we're going to cut this one short. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.